We turn now to our in-depth reporting on gun smuggling from the U.S. into Mexico. Highly sophisticated gun running networks are arming Mexican cartels with military-grade American weapons. Tonight, CBS's Adam Yamaguchi reports on an intelligence program called Project Thor, aimed at stopping the flow of guns across the southern border. Why are you talking about Project Thor now? This is the story the American people need to know. Going on! Former ATF agent Chris Demline led a law enforcement team that made a startling discovery in 2018. I had an intel analyst come to me one day. It was instantly apparent that the cartels had large-scale covert weapons trafficking networks all across the U.S. To stop it, they launched what, according to the ATF, would be the first U.S. intelligence-based project focused on international weapons trafficking. They called it Thor. This story is based on exclusively obtained government documents and interviews with half a dozen current and former officials with direct knowledge. The full scope of Project Thor has never been reported until now. In a matter of months, Project Thor discovered dozens of cartel gun running networks in America. They estimated that up to one million firearms are smuggled across the border every year. Here's how it works. When narcos want guns, they activate a phone tree calling accomplices who live across the U.S. Thor tracked buyers as far north as Maine and even Alaska. These people are paid to buy weapons and ammo, then illegally pass them off to brokers. Couriers pick up those guns and drive them across the border into Mexico and into the hands of the cartel. Project Thor helped solve hundreds of investigations and were quietly awarded the Distinguished Service Medal in 2021. We're talking about Thor in the past tense. Is, is Thor gone? Thor, um, as our project, is, is, is gone. It's no more. I was told priorities in the U.S. government shifted. The money was gone. That was at the end of 2021. When asked directly, senior justice officials told CBS News that they were not familiar with Project Thor. But in the spring of this year, the Biden administration said it was making it a priority to stop narco smuggling operations. We are sending dangerous weapons, particularly assault weapons, to Mexico. They're asking us, please stop it. Cut it off at the border. The government was focusing on gun seizures at the border and working with Mexican law enforcement. Nearly 2,000 firearms were seized from last October to just this past March. That's a more than 65% increase over the same period last year. According to the Mexican government, that number, 2,000 guns, is how many the cartels smuggle in a single day. Our strategy as the United States about doing this is completely ineffective. We need to do something else. We have not done that in federal law enforcement. In response to questions from CBS News, the ATF told us its efforts include large-scale complex investigations, which have led to charges against more than 100 people in the past year. Nora? This is some extraordinary reporting. Adam Yamaguchi, thank you so much.